All right, starting out another check-in at Disneyland for Halloween stuff, and we see in World of Disney, the only thing we found actually in all of Downtown Disney are the hotels, is the addition to Chip and Dale in there. 2019 Halloween attire. So the duo are kind of side by side here in the front area. Besides that, the other windows are filled with the decor that we showed the other time. So that said, let's head on in to the Esplanade, the park, see if we find anything else. All right, we have made our way into DCA and we can see the giant tortilla rising up there, the backdrop for Oogie Boogie, which will be particularly fitting with the new Oogie Boogie's bash this year. Then on Buena Vista Street, more of the windows have had the addition of jack-o'-lanterns, Touches. We really liked what they did with Buena Vista Street last year, and we're super curious to see what they do in terms of the nighttime activities on non Oogie Boogie Bash nights. Because in Disneyland, uh, historically with Mickey's Halloween Party, they take away the cool, spooky music that adds so much to the atmosphere on non-paying nights, non-hard ticket nights. So very curious to see if they keep up the cool vibe over here on those non-pay nights as the same as Oogie Boogie nights or if people are gonna have to pay for that extra little bit of theming. <laughs> Same old here, you can see some of the merch down here on the streets. And then we did those windows last time. Doesn't look like there's any additions over there yet from the last one. And here inside the menswear area, we've got characters with their Halloween attire. It's always kind of fun and spooky just hanging around up there. I like the skeleton face. But very easy to miss amidst all the merch in the shop. Okay, there wasn't anything discernibly different in the Villain's Grove there. So we're keeping a close eye on that because I think that's for a lot of people one of the most interesting parts of the new Halloween season to see what they do with what they're kind of calling their spooky walkthrough area. That said though, over here in Cars Land, lights have shown up. And you can see that's usually the first touches outside of merchandise that you see in Cars Land are the strings of lights. So we've got some there. And there's a variety of trees that also have lights on them in the land. But we won't bore you with going through and all these trees that aren't lit up yet. But that does mean we should start seeing some more visibly cool things in the next couple days here. Across the Esplanade, Disneyland, and immediately greeted by the fall colors there on the train station. So they don't have any signs up on the light poles yet, at least not in here. Let's head on down Main Street, see if we find anything there. And on to Main Street, the fall theming continues. We don't have the larger scale uh, jack-o'-lanterns themed like the Abraham Lincoln and some of those yet, but the bunting up there really kind of jumps out and gives it that fall feel. We should see the big jack-o'-lantern here on September 3rd is normally about what happens. So we'll see if that holds true and uh, let's continue our way into the park. And the Photoshop has made the change. It's one of our favorite kind of, I don't know, hidden aspects 
of the Halloween decoration, which is they bring in and trade out some of their more traditional Americana photos for some creepier Halloween ones. Sometimes they'll be changing portraits. Sometimes they're just stuff like that. And they kind of intertwine them in so they don't necessarily stand out because some of them are just standard photos. side of the shop, another Halloween tree. So even little things like the fall leaves added in the background. And back there, see witches. Just really fun little details that 95% of the people that visit the park are not gonna notice. But if you love Halloween, like we do, it's kind of a big deal. And over at Haunted Mansion Holiday, Nothing too much to see. I mean, we can see some of the work there. And then on the bridge in the cemetery there, you can see some of the pumpkins are up now. Now a couple little touches, but no big Jack Skellington out yet or anything along those lines. But we will continue to watch. They've got all sorts of stuff out in the courtyard as they always do. Lots of jack-o'-lanterns ready to be put up and all that stuff. Usually on a mansion holiday, there's something new to see about every other day that's kind of sizable and interesting and neat and festive. So lots of stuff in the next couple weeks here. All right, we're gonna wrap up that video or this video here as we make our way back down Main Street out of the park. Obviously, lots more to catch as we march to September 6th for Mickey's, or the beginning of Halloween for Disneyland Resort officially. And then September 17th, just 11 days afterwards, is when they start the nighttime hard ticket event, Oogie Boogie's Bash, brand new over at DCA. We will be here for the opening on Friday the 6th, as well as Oogie Boogie's Bash on the 17th. All right, until next time. See you in line somewhere.